this tutorial I show you how you can implement the classical arcade game breakout with your Duino kit. You are playing the game using the second potentiometer to control the pedal. Use the first potentiometer to control the speed of the game. The LEDs on the right side are showing you how many balls you are having left. The wiring looks more complicated than it is. The most important thing is to connect the Mac 7221 controller to the 8.8 .8 LED matrix and to connect the potentiometers to the analog inputs. I'll show you how later in this tutorial. For being able to compile the game you need to install the LED control library. You can get it via GitHub just click download and then you get a zip file in your Arduino tool you choose import library add library select the zip file you just downloaded and after you did that you have this LED control library here the next thing you need to do before being able to play is obviously to wire your Duino kit in the right way. So the most important part is the Max 7221 controller that needs to be connected to this 8.8 .8 LED matrix. It's pretty simple, just connect row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on to DP, A, B, C until G. Here that's the LED matrix, here that's the MAX 7221 and then connect column 1, column 2, column 3 and so on to DG1, DG2, DG3. So that's the way how you connect the controller to the matrix. Then you need to connect the Arduino to the controller itself. Um, in this example here I did it like that, that you connect digital 2 to DIN, D3 to clock, D4 to CS. For being able to actually play the game you need to at least connect one of the two podimeters to um, be used as a pedal. I connected it to A1. There is another another potimeter um, which I use for brightness and speed control. I connected it to analog input 0. We need to use an unused analog input as a random seed generator so that it's really random. And for the speaker we need a PWM enabled digital pin. PWM means pulse width modulation. It's just it's nothing else than just uh, very rapidly changing from high to low on a digital pin. So I chose 9 for that one. And then there are three digital outputs that I use to control the LEDs that are showing the amount of remaining balls. So I used 5, 6 and 7 here. Some more hints about the wiring. As the potentiometers over here are pretty far away from the Arduino over here, I use the breadboard in the middle as a ground and current distribution place. So if you have a look here, the yellow wire is connected to the 5 volts current and the blue wire is connected to the ground. Um, the blue wire, which is connected to the ground, gives me the possibility here to add a lot of more wires because I need them on the one hand here for the LEDs they need ground and over here for the potentiometers they also need ground wires 
I wired them in a way that I had the top pin of the potentiometers here and here connected to ground and the bottom pin here, the white one and the green one connected to current and as you can see here the white and green wire goes back to the um, breadboard those breadboards are made in a way that each of those columns are interconnected that means if you put a wire in here for example 5 volts you can get this 5 volts here 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 and here basically it doesn't matter if you have ground or 5 volts at the top or at the bottom of those two pins the important thing is that the middle wire is connected to those analog inputs just as shown in the source code and depending on how you connect the top and the bottom wire you need to use the map function in a different way I will show you in the source code later on as shown in the source code you have row and rows and columns here in the for the 8.8 .8 matrix they are not ordered in a well clearly understandable fashion they say row 5, row 7, column 2, column 3 so you just need to order it the right way just as shown in the source code and here on the left side of the Arduino chip you see digital 2, 3 and 4 those are connected to the MAX7221 just as described in the source code so these are the three digital outs that are controlling the 8.8 .8 LED matrix the wave symbol here shows that a certain pin is a PWM N pin for example pin number 9 the black cable here which I'm using then to connect to the speaker and for your convenience all of the Arduino pins are mirrored here that means you do not need to connect over here which is pretty far away and you would need very very long cables to do so so that's about it how you can set up the breakout game now when you connected everything as shown um, and have the library installed you should just be able to compile and upload it to your Arduino on your Arduino kit and have fun playing if you're interested in how the whole thing works let me just walk you through quickly to the most interesting part of the source code this here the orientation so you can play the game from another perspective just change the value between 1 and 3 to rotate the game this array here contains the current level so if you like to change the way how the bricks are shown on the playfield or have another pattern just change it here these are the smileys which are shown if you win or lose the game a pretty important thing is the mapping of the analog values to um, numbers and if you connect the potentiometers in another way than I showed it for example changing ground and current then you might want to change the zero here to a 1020 and the 1020 to a zero to again have a natural feeling when, when playing I'm not going to 123 because um, there were some strange effects maybe the analog inputs are not that precise so not going to the whole range of the analog input creates a more stable game okay the this part of the code is pretty important as it draws all the playfield elements this draws the actual level where you, which you're having the, the the pricks then this draws the ball and the paddle so this is where all the magic happens I suggest that you just read the comments here in the source code to find out more and again have fun playing breakout there is a nice little variation of the game if you connect the cables that are originally used to connect the potentiometer which controls the pedal to the ambient light sensor over here you can use the LED flashlight that is 
shipped together with the Duino kit to control the pedal actually 